Welcome to the video. I have some bad news. Your principal is thinking about canceling winter break. So in the next five seconds, hit the like button and they won't cancel it. Don't risk it. Winter break is awesome. Hit the like button. And we give three subscribers every single day here on the channel. So if you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and let us know your epic ID down below in the comment section. And we're so close to 2.1 million subscribers. So if you hit that subscribe button now, you could be our 2 millionth, 100,000th subscriber. And huge shout out to everyone who's been using code HOMA Games in the Fortnite item shop. It directly supports the channel. And if you do use the code, be sure to let us know down in the comments and maybe we'll send you some V-Bucks. Welcome back everybody to Homa Games. Now I don't know about you guys, but it literally feels like it was just last week that we were talking about the Polar Peak versus Robot event inside of Season 9 of Fortnite. Obviously we knew that that event was gonna hold a lot of information as to what was gonna be going on in Season X, but I never could have imagined that literally Season 11 is already about to come out. It literally feels like we're only three weeks into season x and that's partially because we're only like a month into season x but season 10 is actually going to be three weeks shorter than season 9 ever was and as a matter of fact in that update we got the other day update 10.30 we actually got our first leaks as to what we can expect here in season 11 if you load up fortnite right now and scroll on over to the battle pass tab you will see that the season x battle pass ends in 22 days which means that the season ends in 22 days now the reason this is relevant is because last season when there was 22 days left the event had already happened and fast forward to season X the season ends in 22 days and we haven't even really found out what the event for this season is gonna be however we did get our very first sneak peek preview as to what the event this season is gonna to be the visitor is assembling the rocket over in the gray building at dusty depot and he's the one responsible for setting up the rift beacons and everything that's going to be happening so far what we assume the event this season is going to be is a little piece of every event that's ever happened like the rocket the comet everything everything that's ever been at a fortnite event is all going to somehow be combined into one major event that will go down later this season but like i said inside of the new update we got our very first look as what we can expect for season 11 of course we saw what i talked about at dusty depot but we also saw the addition of a brand new skin that is a version of the visitor skin that is apparently going to be that zero point hidden to be revealed skin that you've been trying to unlock all season yeah well this skin leaked and it's called the visitor volta and basically this is just a, a chubbier version of the original visitor skin you know as we can tell from the season x battle pass all of the OG Fortnite skins like the Black Knight, apparently the Visitor, they're all just, they've gained a little bit weight to say it nicely. However, ladies and gentlemen, those are all just tiny pieces of information and it pieces a little bit together of the storyline, but none of it is directly season 11. And that's not what we're going to be talking about in this video, all right? The information we're going to be talking about in this video is the brand new season 11 map. The new points of interest have leaked we have all of the names and a short description of what each point of interest is gonna be so ladies and gentlemen I need you to put your seatbelts on all right because this is gonna be a huge video for Fortnite and there's no doubt in my mind that season 11 is gonna be absolutely insane during season 9 we all expected we were gonna be getting a brand new map in season X but when season X finally went live we were all pretty disappointed we only got Dusty Depot back in the addition of the comet in the sky thankfully I think epic games kind of realized that since they didn't do any major map changes at the beginning of the season that they should implement more throughout the duration of the season and the way we've seen that is through all of the different rip zones we got which in my opinion have been a lot of fun but some of them have been absolutely just a complete and total train wreck but going back to the new map that we could be getting it is not confirmed that this is 100% gonna be a new map 
or if some of the POIs that we have on the map now are just going to be renamed to something different. But regardless, we're going to be getting a bunch of new POIs because just by looking at these POI names, some of them, we don't have anything in Fortnite that are anything related to some of these names. So there is no possible option, but to get at least like six or seven all new POIs with all of the existing point of interest renamed to something new. I also expect that if Epic Games is gonna go through the headache of renaming every POI, they're probably gonna reskin it. So think of Anarchy Acres, but reskin to have uh, different buildings and different wallpaper inside of the house and everything like that. But let's go ahead and jump right into this, okay? So the first one we're gonna be going over is one of my favorites, but trust me, they're gonna get way crazier than this. This point of interest is called Beachy Bluffs. I imagine this being a super cool beach themed POI with beach balls and all sorts of fun stuff. Obviously, we kind of have that over by Paradise Palms, so I'm super interested to see if this is an entirely new point of interest or just them renaming Paradise Palms or giving a name to some group of buildings that are near Paradise Palms, but not close enough to technically be Paradise Palms. Now, the next POI that we can expect to come to the game very, very soon, and this all comes directly from the game files that got added to the game on Wednesday in update 10.30. So the next POI is going to be named Camp Cod. Now this one definitely sounds like an entirely new POI because I don't think we really have a camping area on the map. Now moving on to the next one, this is another brand new POI that just doesn't really fit anything that we currently have inside of the game. This point of interest is called Dirty Docks and will feature some ships and you know some docks obviously this could be one of the most exciting pois as i imagine it having a bunch of loot because it's only fitting that on some pirate ships they have some treasure chests the next poi we could see coming to the game is called frenzy farm i imagine that this will most likely be anarchy acres renamed and i think frenzy farm is a perfect name for it however anarchy acres is one of the most og locations on the map and i would hate to see its name removed and changed to frenzy farms all right oh i'm thinking of fatal fields instead of anarchy acres my bad guys i would love fatal fields to keep being called Fatal Fields and not Frenzy Farm, all right? Let me know if you agree in the comments. Now, the next POI we can see coming to the game. Now, this one is actually a name for that giant weird-shaped mountain by Salty Springs and the factories by Dusty Depot, if that makes any sense. But this is actually going to be called Mountain Meadow. This is super exciting. I'm super excited to see that they're bringing names to locations that have never had names inside of Fortnite before. I love that because me and my buddies always get confused on the callouts and never know exactly what to call this odd giant mountain outside of Salty Springs. Now next up, it turns out that the pressure plant is going to be renamed. The pressure plant is where the volcano was. It was also the same facility where the robot from that event that we had last season was also where that robot was constructed. But the pressure plant is going to be renamed to the power plant, which I personally think is pretty fitting but I thought all of the power was coming from the middle of Loot Lake. This, obviously, is a hole that I'm sure will be patched whenever the event goes down later this season. Now, moving on to the next one, it looks like this one could possibly be a new name for Snobby Shores. Obviously, when Snobby Shores first came to the game, it was a bunch of huge houses, definitely the nicest piece of real estate on the entire Fortnite map. But over the last few seasons, it's kind of gotten destroyed a lot of the houses are pretty run down and some of them have even been totally remodeled like snobby shores is not what it used to be all right that used to be a premium neighborhood and now it's kind of kind of trashy so it looks like they could be renaming snobby shores to sunny shores which i think is a much more fitting name now this next one is very very interesting this one is called slurpy swamp and the only swamp biome that we have on the map 
is Moisty Meyer. I'm interested to see if they bring Moisty Meyer back permanently and then go ahead and change the name to Slurpy Swamp, but I don't think they would really do that, seeing as the Moisty Meyer POI isn't even in Fortnite. Now, the next location we can expect to see on the new Season 11 Fortnite map is a new name for Wailing Woods. So apparently Wailing Woods is going to be coming back into Fortnite, and that makes me really, really happy. However, the name isn't going to be Wailing Woods. Instead, it is going to be Weeping Woods, which is pretty similar if you ask me, but hey, Epic Games, do you. Overall, I'm super excited for Season 11 in Fortnite, and honestly, I'm really excited for Season X as well. We still haven't had the major in-game event this season, and I'm super excited to see what Epic Games has planned for us. I can only imagine that it's gonna be super crazy because the last season event was insane. Definitely the craziest event we've ever had. Literally every season, Epic Games raises the bar, and then the next season, they raise it even more so I can only imagine what they have planned for us this season and I can bet you that season 11 is gonna be even crazier let me know in the comments section what do you think the theme of season 11 is gonna be obviously the season 10 theme was time travel and I think it's been a whole lot of fun but obviously it's had its ups and downs especially with the brute robot all right you guys know the community has gone crazy over that ever since it was initially released and more or less not properly nerfed but i do hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you guys are as excited for season 11 as i am and i hope you guys are able to go get a couple epic victory royales today if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified every time we post a video and as soon as we get the news we're gonna make a video and share it with you guys here on the channel so thanks again everybody for watching i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.